All right, so I had a chance now to calm down and take a look at everything, think about it, and, you know, talk rationally about this. Because when I made the video earlier, like, it literally just happened. So, <sighs> I mean, there's no denying, bro. This sucks. It really does. And, um, you know, I want to take this opportunity now to um, thank Calais Campbell for everything he did for the Jaguars at his time here. Forever the mayor of Saxonville. I mean, it's no lie, we lost a great player, good locker room guy, and as big as this fucker was in person, you know, absolutely cool guy to be around. I'm happy I got to meet him once, and, um, you know, even though he's going to a team I fucking despise, you know, he's always a guy I'm going to root for. So, um, best of luck to him. I hope he finishes his career good. Now, let me talk, now let me talk to Gavin's fans a little bit. And, I, and, and I'm not going to, and you know, I'm not going to talk shit to y'all. Like, you know, that ain't what I, I mean, it's what I do. But, like, not for a situation like this. There's absolutely denying with all what, you know, you guys are saying in the comments. You got a great player for nothing. You stole him from us, basically. I mean, there's no denying that. And the deal you're about to, in the $27 million extension, you're about to give him for the next three years, I believe. Well, the next two years, uh, uh, on top of his $19 million he's getting this year. I mean, it's a good veteran piece for you guys. And you know, you probably won't have to count on him like we had to count on him here so you know it's a good so it's a good deal for y'all he i'd say calais has about three more very productive years left even at 34 but i'm gonna tell you like this y'all better win a fucking super bowl within the next two or three years that's why we're rebuilding now you're on the brink. But here's the fucking problem. Two years ago, when you draft, when you got Lamar Jackson, you were surprise division winners, and you made it to the playoffs, and then you lost to the Chargers, you know. Everybody could kind of excuse it for Lamar, because he's a rookie in the new system and all that. But here's, but here's the thing. This year... He set the fucking league on fire and won MVP. Was the MVP of the regular season. And then when he got to the playoffs, he lost to a fucking team that should not have been there. Number one seed, favorites to go to the Super Bowl, and he lost to the sixth seed that should not have fucking been there. They, and they were only there because of how weak the AFC was. So, right now, until he proves otherwise, you got a you got a fucking playoff choker at quarterback. It's the base. It's basically reverse Joe Flacco. So, until he shakes that, you can get whatever pieces you want. It's not going to matter. And the reason he's got a two or three year window, because after that, because after that, you're going to have to pay him. And you're gonna have to pay him a lot, along with other, along with other key pieces on your defense. You know, like Marlon Humphrey, Mark Andrews. You're not gonna be able to keep at, and you're not gonna be able to keep everybody. And you just lost Marshall Yonda, so you might want to get some O line help. So you got a good pl so you got a good player, and you better make the most of it, because if you, because if Lamar can't shake this fucking not winning in the playoff shit. It ain't gonna matter who the fuck you get. And that's just facts. So, you better find a way to win a Super Bowl. You better overcome the Red Ranger and Kansas City and whoever else might be contending for it. So, 
Oh, and let me and let me speak to these dumbasses since they always have some these dumbass Titans fans since they always have something to say you know, on my comment section no matter what the fucking video is about. You know, you act like you fucking did it. You act like you traded for Calais Campbell. You didn't do shit. Why, like, why are y'all trying to get me to notice a fucking team that can't, that hasn't won a division title in damn near 20 years, and when the moment counts, can't get the fucking job done? You had the easiest, like, I don't give a shit what anybody says. You had the easiest fucking road in the play, one of the easiest roads in the playoffs this year I have ever seen, and you could, and your one big challenge, you couldn't fucking do it. And yes, you did have an, an easy chal, an easy road. You played a fucking dynasty that was cr that was crumbling right before our very eyes. Tom Brady, old as shit, had no receivers, no Gronk, no running game. And you barely beat him. And then, like I said, you went to Baltimore and beat a guy that can't win in the playoffs. And in both of the and you wanna talk and you wanna talk about stupid ass moves? How about the contract you gave Ryan Tranny Hill? You gave him $118 million. $62 million guaranteed. You thought the Foles contract was bad? You're going to be in way worse of a boat if this shit blows up in your face. In both of those playoff games, Tranny Hill didn't have to throw for, two, for 100 yards. Because Derrick Henry did all the work. But what happened in Kansas, when, you know, a bigger reason why you shouldn't have paid him? Look at the Kansas City game. Look when Derrick Henry, look when the Chiefs started pulling ahead and Derrick Henry got completely taken out of the game. Did Tranny Hill bring you back? No. He fucking choked. You should know this from a guy who did the same shit in Miami. He got another $100 million contract, and you were probably the only dumbasses that would have gave it to him. And if you lose Derrick Henry because of this, you're fucked for a long time. Forget even going 9-7 and seven and just playing second fiddle to whoever wins the division. You're fucked. You'll be in a goddamn basement for years to come if you lose Derrick Henry. Because if he leaves, your offense don't go. You can talk, tell me about A.J. Brown and Johnny Smith and whoever the fuck else all you want. Without Derrick Henry, you're fucked. You could e you could have easily drafted Justin Herbert or um, Jordan Love to do what Ryan Tranny Hill does. You're not going to find another Derrick Henry. And that's just a fact. So, we might suck for a couple more years, but the fact you're also about to lose Conklin too, your offensive line's going to crumble, Derrick Henry might be on his way out, and you're giving all this money to Tranny Hill and you can't sign anybody else, your defense is going to start falling apart. You're in the same you're in the same boat as the Ravens all, almost. You got a couple more years to to try and win. And you ain't got the fuck and you definitely ain't got the fucking team to do it. Like your defense can't even fucking get sacks. You should have been trying harder to get Campbell instead of the Gavens. So, talk all the shit you want, but you're just as fucked as we are right now. I promise. But anyway, that uh, on the Calais, like, this one, I mean, it hurts just because we didn't get any type of value for this dude. And, um, I don't know. We got a lot of shit to fix. Draft now, edge rusher is definitely a need, since I guess that's probably it for Jan, too. So, um... All I got to say is, man, fix this shit. Don't splurge in free agency. Get this, get this dude some help. Because as great as he is, he's not gonna be able to make up the production of Ngakwe and Campbell. So, um, just get the man some help. It's all. It's really all I got, man. But um, again, thank you to Calais Campbell for everything he does. Best of luck to you. Best of luck to you from the future. You've had a Hall of Fame career. You'll be missed in Jacksonville. Cheers, my friend. Oh, and Natty Bo, how fitting. Thank you. Always forever to Mayor of Saxonville. 
I'm out.